Hey, what's up, guys? I got a quick uh, Aero video unboxing here. I haven't done an Aero video uh, unboxing for a little while now, I, except for that semi-recent. Was that around Black Friday? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I haven't done a, like, a, a collector's edition unboxing in a while. And uh, I have Crimson Peak. Uh, uh, I almost said Benicio Del Toro. No, it's Guillermo Del Toro's uh, Crimson Peak. I've only seen this film once. I saw it at a digital copy of it I had on my Voodoo and I watched it that way. And uh, I remember thinking it was pretty good. Um, I, I need to watch it again, definitely. It's been th three years, I think, since I watched it. Is it 15 or 16? It's been at least two or three years. But this, when, the, when this was announced, at first I thought I wasn't going to really, I wasn't interested in it because it looked like it was a book form, like a book like um, the more recent Criterion of The Princess Bride. I hate when they do stuff like that and then it's just a book. That's just going to sit open without a case, and I don't like that kind of stuff. Sort of like digi books, um, but uh, this is actually a little different. It's actually got a surrounding around it, and you just flip it up. Um, at least from what video I saw, anyway. Also, this is the second um, one I got from Amazon because the first one had a huge dent slash uh, broken area right here. You could see the cardboard coming out, and um, so I had to return. This would have been I would have unboxed this uh, a couple days ago, actually, but. Um, I got it now, so whatever. Anyway, let's take a look inside. Um, like I said, I think it's from 2015. It'll tell me in the back here. 20, yep, 2015. So I, I saw it three years ago, three and a half years ago now. I think. Wrap. Now, how does this come off? Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know where to put this, so I don't know if I'll keep it or not, but I just I'll throw it there. It's a little indentation right there. I don't know if that's a mistake or what. Yeah. From the, the glue or something. But whatever, that's a bit better than the old previous one I had. So, um, this looks. Okay, otherwise, it's in the shelf like that. Opens up like this. I can pull some stuff out. Well, actually, here's the imagery we got here. You open it up, and it's a picture of the wallpaper, and then a ghostly being right here, and then that little image of. I can't really tell if that's like a crest or something like that, or just in the wallpaper right here. What's in the back look like? Oh. Again, it's been three and a half years since I saw this film, and I watched it the one time. I don't recall all the imagery. All I know is red was a major theme, and I remember this character, which is fucking creepy. Well, there's it's a single disc, no DVD with this, just regular Blu-ray. So there's that. The Blu-ray looks good. It says fear back there. Okay. got some stills and a poster, I think. So let's look at the stills first. There is um, Tom Hiddleston. Two pictures of Tom Hiddleston. Is their character name or anything? I don't remember their names. Um, Jessica Chastain. I think, yeah. Mia Wasikowski, I think. I think that's her name. Wasikowska. I remember this imagery, the, the blue and the red from other posters, and then Charlie Hunnam of SOA fame. And just a little poster for other Arrow titles in Waterworld in the back here. This is actually, it just came out too, or if it's coming out this week or something. And uh, I remember this movie being stupid. You guys should check it out. It's been a long time since I saw that. Well, here's a poster. Crimson Peak and a picture of Wasikowska and then the, the castle or the whatever in the, the big house slash castle in the background. In the back is the uh, original theatrical poster, it looks like. It says beware. It's got that that crisp, like cardboardy smell. And now that's those. What's this? That image again, yeah. 
this is just thin cardboard. It's a hardcover book. Sort of like the book in the um, um, house uh, four film box set that I have. So there's an essay or two in here, and then it looks like there's designs and illustrations. Let's take a quick look at this. Guillermo del Toro is a, a magnificent artist and artist, uh, cinematographer, and has very huge worlds and crazy imagery, and he's very good at that kind of stuff. His storytelling isn't always as good. I like most of his films um, and his stories and stuff. They're usually a bit wilder than um, his budget can handle, but because um, he's always constrained by budget, of course, because he's not the one paying for it. The studio is all universal, whatever. Sort of like when Hellboy was released. I think, it, I think this Hellboy 2 went way over budget. It's not a reason why they redid all that. But uh, he's, he's a very good storyteller and story build, world builder. Okay, what's it say? Melancholy and the Maiden Notes on Guillermo del Toro's Crimson Peak by David Jenkins. Hmm. Check that out at some point. And there he is talking to, uh, is that Mia? I think it is. It's Tom. There's the hallway. Creepy. And this looks like a town setting, or like a city setting. Like a little bazaar going on there. A satellite of meeting the production and costume design of Crimson Peak. I do not remember who's Charlie Hunnam's character is. Maybe the doctor or something? I don't remember. Gosh. I cannot believe it's been three years, or approximately three years. Shit, over three years. Damn. So three um, essays at least. Ghost Hunter, an interview with Kim Toro. That's cool. I like these interviews when they talk to the director. This will be cool. There he is talking to them. Another one, damn. Just keep reviewed. Appeared in the December 15th news. Just Sight and Sound magazine, which is here with permission. Cool. And then some design information. It's really cool. I assume this is not all, um. Actually, that probably told me right at the beginning you shouldn't, didn't it? This is not all Gamer Del Toro's drawings. These are. By Guy Davis and Oscar Ciccone. Motion grandeur signature design. Guy Davis. Cool. These guys are better artists than. You know, Guillermo's a pretty good artist, but these guys are paid to do this shit. That's creepy as shit. What the fuck? I don't remember a lot of this shit. <laughs> Very cool. And then the transfer that used the production credit special thanks. Love makes monsters of us all. Very cool. Neato. So, is that it? Just like that? Yeah. That's very cool. I like the design of it. Um, I guess it is kind of cool they didn't just go with the regular, the standard um, Aero video. This is what I'm talking about. I don't like when it's like, okay, now it just sits open like that. But even still, it is cooler than just the regular Aero Video packaging, which I, I like that packaging, but just trying something different, I guess. So I'll just do this. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I will have more stuff coming, of course. The usual shit. And... Yeah, I guess. Um, this I, said, I got this off Amazon. And like I said, the first time I got it, it was damaged. I got it, it was 30, $35, $32, something like that. So, you know release week prices. I'm sure this will be down to 20 bucks for a sale at some point if you want to wait. But uh, I felt like getting it. Like I said, I, hadn't, I haven't bought a special edition in a while, so. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you again later. Later. <laughs> Alright, guys, bye.